Good morning. I just finished my workout and I'm feeling pretty good because this one was the one that I did a couple days ago that made me cry and I uh, just finished it and I modified the entire time but that was kind of a deal I had to make with myself to get it done. And there were some moves that I didn't modify as much and there were some moves that I modified more but I got it done and it was 45 minutes and I feel pretty good. But here's the thing. I was sitting there at my desk and now I was working, but I was working for a little longer than I probably should have. I was working on things that I didn't really need to do. I was completely procrastinating because I was dreading the workout. And, oh, sorry, I need some water. Hang on. And um, I was sort of, I was convincing myself that I was getting ready for my workout. I was getting, to, getting mentally ready. I was taking my pre-workout and had to time that just right. And basically what I was doing was just getting ready. I wasn't actually getting ready to do anything. And we had a call a couple days ago and uh, one of the speakers said, are you getting ready to get ready? And it really hit me because so many people just say, oh, you know what, now's not the right time. I have to wait until this. I mean, and I'm not just talking about fitness. People do this. Like, people, like, oh, you know, I, I actually had a friend when I was a lot younger. Um, a, a couple friends of mine were dating. And they knew they wanted to get married, but they he wouldn't propose until this milestone had been achieved. And then this milestone had been achieved. And then this, like, he wanted the proper job and he wanted the proper house and he wanted all these proper things and I respect that like everybody's different but at some point you need to just take action so if we put that to fitness because and ultimately they're married and it's fantastic and it all worked out and I don't want to judge how they live their lives but I remember that so much because I thought what next milestone are you going to put in the way of actually taking action and so what I would say is what next step are you putting in the way of taking action? For me, I was using my work. Sorry, I'm pointing at my laptop. You can't see that. Um, I was using my work. I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to do this and then I will push play on my workout. I'm just going to do this. I was just getting ready to get ready. So I want to ask you, if you're still waiting to take action on making changes to your nutrition or starting an exercise program or going after that job you want, or starting school because you know that that's going to lead you to your dream career, or starting a business that you've been dreaming about forever. You know, if you are just continuously not quite there, I want you to ask yourself, why? What are you getting ready for? Because if action isn't right there as the next step, at least a first step, you're not actually getting ready for anything. You're just continuously getting ready to get ready. And that's not gonna get you to your goals, right? I was continuously getting ready to get ready for my workout. I was not actually pushing play. Finally, what I had to do, I just said, snap out of it. You've gotta stop this. You've actually gotta do this. You're gonna run out of time and then you're not gonna be able to do it. I had to take action. I used the five second rule. You guys have heard me talk about the five second rule before and I went five, four, three, two, one. But the other thing I did, just before that is I posted in my accountability group because I have an ongoing free accountability group. If you guys want in, let me know. And I said to them, I posted a, an image that had spoken to me because sometimes I just, sometimes I randomly just Google fitness motivation and I find an image that hits me at the core at that moment. And then I know, okay, that's what's speaking to me today. Maybe it's going to speak to somebody else. And today it was about overthinking and being in a battle with your mind and about being more about um, mental than physical. And that's where I was. So I shared that and I said, okay, guys, this is where I'm at today. It is completely mental. I don't want to do this workout, but I am posting here for you today because if I post here, you guys are going to keep me accountable. They don't necessarily have to say a word. It's just the sheer act of me posting that made it have to happen. So that was the action I took. I was no longer getting ready to get ready because if I didn't push play within about three minutes of posting that picture in that group, I was breaking my word. I was not fulfilling my commitment to my team, right? So I pushed play. I did my workout. I took action. 
uh, you know, for years before I started my weight loss journey, I was always getting ready. I always had a reason or I would start something and then stop it. I would never fully commit. I was always getting ready to get ready. You know, I just, I just want to lose a couple pounds before, before I actually get started, which doesn't make any sense, right? I just want to have my schedule settled, um, before I can start a new program. Now, if it's about money, I do not question that at all. If money, is what you're getting ready cool that I totally respect because not everybody if you're if what you're getting ready to do costs money then you might not be able to do it and that's fair but don't let that be an excuse that continues for too long if you actually want to do something and you're using money as your excuse then save the money and do what you said you were going to do with it right? If you're starting a business and you need a certain investment or you're looking to do something or you need to save a certain amount of money to take that trip you've always wanted to take or whatever it is, don't just let that dream fade away into the distance because all you're doing is just getting ready to get ready. Get ready and do it. Commit to yourself. Do what you say you're going to do and stop just getting ready. Prepare and take action. You know, and even the action you take can just be the first small step. You know, it can be signing up for one course if what you want to do is go to school. Figure out what a course would be that would give you credit to your future dream and st sign up for one course. You know, start small on your nutrition. Just cut out some refined sugars or, you know, start limiting your, your refined carbs. You know, take a small action because at least it's action. You're no longer just getting ready to get ready. You are actually doing something in pursuit of your goal. Rant over. That's what I had to say today. I feel fired up. Um, and like I said at the beginning, I actually, I modified my entire workout, but holy crap, guys, I was sweaty. My quads are on fire. My hamstrings are on fire. I have to go do a major stretch right now. So even though I modified, I still did the workout. I still took action. You know, Mandy Lynn, I see that you're on this video and I want to thank you for your comment in the group. Thank you for keeping me accountable because I took action because of you guys. So I really appreciate that. Um, I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. I just wanted to pop on here because this was something that hit me today. And when something hits me in my gut and goes, oh, yeah, man, I really need to do that. I want to share it with you because I figure if it's happening to me, it's probably happening to somebody else out there. So this is your kick in the butt for the morning. It's Wednesday, halfway through the week. Uh, go stop getting ready to get ready. Just go and take some action. Okay, five, four, three, two, one and go.